time talking today but I have spent the entire morning decking out my apartment with happy birthday stuff and crepe crepe paper what is this stuff called I don't know what this stuff is called anyways um and then balloons all over my floor and as you can see right there there was a casualty already today uh, and then I created this like streamer, streamers, they're called streamers, got it. Um, I made this streamer, streamer like thing, like when my roommate walks in, because it is her birthday today, in case that wasn't evident in probably the last clip of this vlog. Um, and then her present is sitting right here. And maybe when she gets home I'll film her opening it. I don't know. I've been up since she left the house for class this morning, and I think she was late for class, which is not awesome. But yeah, and also when she walks in the door, Taylor Swift 22 will be on repeat. So for the next hour, I'm going to sit with Taylor Swift on repeat. <laughs> Who is this? It's Justin Bieber. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. did it wow. again how surprising actually it was a pretty good comeback I'll be honest it was kind of surprising it was it was a good comeback oh my god what if he dies right here right now it's so excited and we get so scared laughing at ourselves thinking life's not fair and this is how it feels
In reality, side hustles have started to evolve. Think about the analogy of a hustling in a sports context. You hustle after the ball, hustle after the puck with extreme energy. Has a more positive light now, right? Now, side hustles aren't a new thing. You see, I've worked in social marketing, primarily in higher education, for most of my career. That means I work with a lot of 18 to 24 year olds, which also happens to be the most active demographic on social media. The other thing you need to know about me is that I'm young enough to have grown up with social media, but just old enough to be able to critically engage with it in a way that 12 year old me probably couldn't. So my life is social media, personally, professionally, and academically. And if it was doing this to me, what was it doing to everyone else? That rejection is a key ingredient to creativity and success. That pushing out work that gets rejected, that this makes you a better creator. It's like making the first pancake in the batch. If all you ever made was the first pancake, and it was crap, people ate it, you'd never know you had a whole batch of great pancakes in you. Thank you, Rory Gilmore. Oh! 